welcome to Doc Talks Detox. I'm Dr. Caitlin, and on this channel, I talk about all things drainage. And currently, we're doing a series of lymphatic drainage, what I call the specific seven. Now, the reason I call it the specific seven is because it's super specific, meaning we're focusing on seven of the main lymph node clusters to improve overall body drainage. Now, this is video number three. So if you haven't seen the first two videos, the termini and the tonsillar, go back and watch them. Reason being, I don't just talk about the nodes. I don't just show you where they are. I tell you exactly what to do to decongest them. Because I know that I know that when you open up your lymphatic system and your body has the ability to remove the waste products from your body, from all the toxins we're exposed to, from cellular metabolism, meaning just from making energy and functioning, it creates waste products, which our lymphatic system is what removes those waste products. I know that when you implement the specific seven, that you're gonna automatically start to feel and look and function different and better. And the reason I can say this is I've seen it happen hundreds upon thousands of times across my social media, working one-on-one -on -one with clients and working within my academy with hundreds of individual members. So what we're gonna do is in this video, we're gonna talk about the third lymph node that we need to decongest, that we need to open up, that we need to get lymphatic fluid moving. Now this one is typically the one that is often forgotten about. It's usually not talked about and a lot of people don't actually address it. And to me, it's kind of crazy because this one literally is the gatekeeper for the next one that we're going to talk about, which will be in the next video. So what this node is, it's the apical node. Now I know you might be saying apical node. What the heck are you talking about? I've never heard of it. I know. And it's because a lot of people don't talk about it. Now, sometimes people will address it when they're doing their training but I honestly don't believe they're doing a great job of addressing it because if you're trying to do two things at the same time, we don't usually do either of them very well. So that's why I break it up and I teach it in two steps because I want to make sure that you're opening them up. Now, women, this is especially important for those of us that wear bras. Why might you ask? Well, typically the apical note is located under our bra strap. So I'm wearing this shirt because it shows us where our bra straps would be. So if we have a bra strap that's in there holding up our breast tissue, what's going to happen is it's going to put massive pressure on that apical lymph node. And what that's going to do is that's going to cause congestion. It's one of the reasons why we end up having backup. We may end up having fluid not being able to drain from our breast tissue or not having proper drainage from our arm because guess what? The fluid from our arm and our breast tissue drain into to our apical node. So what we want to make sure we do is anytime that we wear a bra, especially an underwire bra, because underwire really does prevent proper lymphatic drainage. Now I'm not saying don't wear them because I know, I know, I know I'm not super well endowed. I don't have the same problem as some of the other people out there, other women who have larger breasts. I get it. You have to wear something that gives you support. So I'm not saying not to wear them. I'm simply saying when you take it off, make sure you do something to get the lymphatic fluid moving that has been stagnant the whole time you've been wearing that article of clothing. And that goes across the board. That's not just for bras. That can be tight clothing like leggings or socks or maybe a watch. Anything that leaves a mark on your skin is tight and you gotta do something to get that lymphatic fluid moving. So let's talk about how do we find this note? Well, it sits under our bra strap. And what it is, is it's gonna be located just below our clavicle. Now, one way, one simple way to find it is if you roll your shoulder in, where it rolls in is where that apical node would be, which when you look, it's like right on the edge of where my strap is. So what I'm gonna suggest that you do, and you can do any of these, one side at a time, do not feel you have to do both sides at the same time. I teach it both sides at the same time because people, one, are on a time crunch in today's day and age, two, we wanna just like get through and get moving. So if we can do two at the same time, I usually do it, but you don't have to. So what we're gonna use is we're still gonna use our ring finger and our middle finger. And what we're gonna do is we're going to do this, ideally skin on skin, but these nodes can be done over top of clothing. So lymph node stimulation can absolutely be done over top of clothing. 
So what I'm gonna do is I like to cross my arms. You can do it same side. It's just not as comfortable. Most people find it more comfortable when you cross your hands. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide our hands under our bra straps if we're wearing any or under our tank tops or whatever we have going on. On the inside of our shoulders when we round them, we're going to do little circles that we push in and up, in and up. So guess how many we're gonna do? If you've seen the other videos, I'm gonna suggest that you start with 30. Reason being, if you've never done this before, it's gonna take time to get things moving. If you're somebody who's had breast cancer, or you've had lymph nodes removed, or you have lymphedema in your arm, or in your breast tissue, or you have breast swelling or breast tenderness throughout your cycle, this is gonna be something you're gonna want to do. Not to mention, if you've been wearing bras for years, this is definitely something you're gonna wanna do just to make sure that this area is decongested. And that the next one that we're gonna do in the next video has the ability to drain properly. Because remember, we're doing this in order, and the reason this is the order is because fluid flows from high pressure to low pressure. Now when we have a cluster of lymph nodes that is congested, that area is no longer considered lower pressure than the area below. It. What that means is fluid is not going to flow up if there is no pressure gradient. So this is why I always start at the termini and then I move away from there. Now with that being said, this is going to be a little different than a limp vessel drainage. So I don't want you to think about limp vessel drainage, dry brushing, manual massage. That's going to be slightly different. We're still going to be moving in the same order, but the direction is going to be slightly different. So what you're gonna do is after you do 30 pumps, you may find that you need to do 40 or 50 pumps. I'm gonna highly recommend though that you do this at least once a day. And remember, this is building. So what you wanna do is you wanna start with video one with the termini, then add on tonsillar. Now we're at apical, so this is video number three. We have four more videos. And what will happen is you're gonna end up getting a sequence, a series, and as you do more of this, you're gonna start to notice more changes. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna have more energy. All of these things I've seen happen countless times, like I said, but you gotta be consistent. This is probably the thing that people I see struggle the most with, or they get frustrated because they're like, well, I'm not seeing this. I've done it every day for two weeks. Well, guess what? If you've had congestion for 30 years, even five years, it's gonna take longer than two weeks. One of my favorite sayings is, our body is not Amazon Prime. It's gonna take more than two days to get what we want. So I'm gonna ask you to be consistent, meaning do it super frequently, but then stick with it. Don't give up on it because you may just be giving up right before things shift, right before the, the pendulum sways in your favor. And also, don't forget the other drainage techniques that I've talked about and taught on this channel. So add this to the first two and then come on back. Make sure you subscribe and ideally hit the bell so you don't miss any of my videos because the next one we're gonna do is going to massively focus on arm and breast drainage. This is gonna be video number four, lymph node number four, but you gotta get the first three down before you can do the fourth. Thanks for being here, happy draining, and I'll see you next time.